in Excel, sometimes you can use the information out of one spreadsheet and paste it into another one. So um, I've opened a new blank spreadsheet here, just some names um, to practice on. And what I want to do is say I wanted to use one of these names in a second spreadsheet. Um, you can do it two ways. One could be as a separate sheet in, in the same spreadsheet, but this time we're going to make it in a whole new spreadsheet. So I'll go File, New, Open, another spreadsheet, or I could open one I already had somewhere else. Now I kind of like it when they're side by side. You can drag them around a wee bit, just because that means um, you can see what you're doing with each of them. So you can drag the little windows around within the Excel window. Um, and in this cell here, say I wanted that cell to show one of the names out of this one. All I do is I type equals, and then I click on the cell I want it to show. I had to click twice actually, once to get over to the spreadsheet and once on the cell. And then it's given me the little marching ants around that one saying, is this what you want? And so all I do is I hit enter to say, yes, that is what I want. And it's put it into the second cell. Now when I go back to this first cell and I change it slightly, it should automatically update. Oh, see, it updated it in the second spreadsheet all by itself. Now, another way, um, another thing you can just be aware of is up here, it's actually telling you what it's referring to. So if I, if you needed to edit that for any reason, it's telling me to look in book one, that's just the name of this spreadsheet because I haven't saved it as anything else yet. So it's just called book one, sheet one. It's looking in the first sheet on that page and um, cell number A3 and the dollar signs just tell it to always look at cell A3 so it's the cell we've copied into there is this cell here A3 and hopefully that gives you a bit of a start just got to work out how to turn off this video now oh. I just stopped it. Maybe I didn't. Okay.